Welcome to the 2021 Heart of America Athletic Conference Men's Soccer Media Day. I am Eric Bergrud, color commentator for the Kansas City Comets of the Major Arena Soccer League. And today we are joined by two-time NAIA national champion head coach Alex Nichols of Central Methodist University. Coach, how are you today? Doing good, thank you. It's been quite a run for your team the last three years with two national titles and three appearances in the NAIA national semifinals. What have been some of the keys to your success over the past few years? Yeah, I think uh, getting a group of student athletes um, who are, you know, obviously we have a talented bunch of guys over these past past years, um, but a group of student athletes that, you know, are in sync and um, work really hard and, and, and buy into what we're doing. So I, I always think that's a, a massive part of it. They've established a, a very good culture, um, which can, includes a, a very high level of uh, work rate. And so, um, you know, we're, uh, we're very pleased with uh, what our guys have been able to do um, on all ends. Very good. So let's pivot and preview this year's team. Who are the some of the key pieces you have back in 2021? Yeah, uh, Marcos Herman would be the one that comes uh, to my mind pretty fast, and uh, Victor Luengo Garcia um, comes to my mind uh, very fast because those guys are seniors who have been with the program for for some time now, and so um, uh, they were a part of all of these last three seasons. And so once once they arrived, um, you know, uh, a great amount of success uh, happened, and uh, Victor's been all conference, and Marcos been two-time All-American um, and, you know, one of the top players in, in the NAI. So both Victor and Marcos, you know, we're expecting a lot out of, not just on the field, but, uh, um, you know, uh, all, all across the board. We expect them to be leaders on and off the field and um, help lead this team to a great deal of success this year. So you talked about some of the players that have come back. Who are some newcomers you hope to have step up for you in 2021? Uh, every one of them. Um, I, I would love to pinpoint a, a specific uh, student athlete that we have coming in, and I, and I hate to kind of give the coach speak here, but we're expecting a lot out of every one of them. Um, we we hope um, and, and believe um, in our new student athletes. We're still getting to know each other, obviously. That uh, that always takes some time, but uh, already we have a lot of belief in them and a lot of hope for what they're able to achieve. There's a lot of things to learn from all sides, you know, um, the, the coaches and the players alike. So we're still very, very early on, um, only, you know, not even a week um, into things. But so far, we've, we're excited about our incoming players, and we have uh, very high expectations for each and every one of them. And they each have uh, individual and uh, team jobs to, to take care of. So we expect them to take care of business, and we're excited to watch them do their thing. So for fans who haven't had the opportunity to see a CMU game, what type of soccer will they expect to see from your team in 2021? Um, I would say, you know, it's going to be an aggressive team as, as always. That's, uh, you know, part of our MO. So we are going to, uh, um, you know, we're going to be very aggressive on the offensive side, on the defensive side, and we're hoping that will uh, bring us a, a great deal of success. We're not really one to, to sit back too much. And so, um, you know, our, our, our big hope is to, uh, you know, um, to be in sync with everything we do and to be as organized as we possibly can. And um, then from there, you know, just let the guys um, do their thing. And hopefully the, the cards fall the right way. But, um, you know, we, everybody on our schedule from our non-con to our conference opponents we have a great deal of respect for so no matter what our style is it's it's going to be a challenge uh, day in and day out so you just mentioned having respect for your conference opponents the, the heart continually has teams make big runs nationally in the NAIA tournament what is it about the heart that breeds such strong national programs um I, I I'm not I'm not really too sure on that. I would say there's um a lot of good universities uh, that are willing to, um, you know, put their programs in positions to, to have success. And there's a lot of really good coaches um, and a lot of really good recruiters. And at the end of the day, I, I there's a, a lot of great coaches in this conference. I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive. Um, but having said that, you know, uh, a coach, head coach is only as good as the staff. And 
um, the staff is only as good as, you know, he or she's players. So um, it always comes back to the student athletes. So I guess the main thing would be to, to tip my cap to um, our staff's recruiting job and all the other coaches recruiting jobs because um, the student athletes are the ones who make things happen. And there is a lot of really impressive student athletes uh, within this conference. Coach, you've had such success at CMU and other sports around campus are thriving as well. What is it about CMU that continues to, to create, generate so much success, not only in the heart, but in the NAIA as well? Uh, I, I think just a lot of expectations, a lot of high expectations that continue to, you know, to go from one program to another. So, um, you know, um, a lot of us coaches here at CMU are very close to each other. And I think that's a good thing because we're going to, you know, feed off of each other's success and feed off of each other's expectations. And everybody's got a lot of, um, you know, pride in what they do and feel a great deal of responsibility to work extremely hard for, um, for their student athletes. And um, I, I think that just kind of uh, is a domino effect. And so uh, when you're surrounded by a lot of great coaches, that just uh, you know, motivates you even more, which, which, which is a good thing. And so, you know, we're all rooting for each other, but we're all trying to, you know, match and, and, and grow each other's successes within our own programs. And so I think that's a really healthy thing. And, um, you know, when you're rooting for each other um, and using each other to help motivate you as well, um, I think that's uh, a really good thing. So, and hopefully we continue to have success, not just um, in the NAI, but I mean, we want to be considered one of the top programs in the nation. You know, several years ago, Massey had us as, I think the number three or four team nationally for all collegiate leagues in the United States. So that's something we want to continue to do and play as many teams as we can inside and outside the NAI. Coach, two more questions for you. I watch uh, more than a fair amount of uh, soccer in Kansas City, and I saw your victory over UMKC, an NAIA D1 team this past spring. What did defeating a D1 team mean for your players in your program? Um, I mean, we played a lot of you know good teams. We, we dropped one to a D1 opponent in UCA. Um, unfortunately, we just weren't prepared uh, right for that one. We'd love to have that one again, but um, um, you know, we were able to beat off Creighton, a really good D1 who uh, we have a lot of respect for. Um, we were able to beat UMKC and able to beat Western Illinois. Um, you know, when we drew Missouri State uh, several years ago, and I think they were ranked around eight um, that next year. So, um, you know, we it, it's, it's an expectation. We have respect for every one of those teams that I just named off. We have respect for every, you know, Division II team, um, every NAI team, you know. Um, D3 JUCO. So I think I think the main thing is to, you know, our guys have a you know a means of being humble before uh, each opponent. And the moment you know we lose that, which we may have lost a little bit of that when we played UCA, um, but that's I think what keeps us grounded and and what keeps us having the success that that we've had. We've got a lot of players and, and student athletes that's you know, stay grounded and, and know that this is soccer and you can lose to anybody on any day. And so um, they have to keep the right mindset. And for the most part, we have. We've dropped the ball a few times, but I mean, we've lost five games in the past three years. And so um, that's, uh, that's uh, you know, hats off to our players for keeping the proper mindset, because um, when you respect every team, you're typically going to gain a lot more um, wins than you are losses. And so uh, I credit that to the players. Final question. I have the privilege uh, in my work with the Kansas City Comments as color commentator of, of watching one of your great graduates, Rian Marquez, play game in and game yeah. out, game out. He was a runner up to league uh, rookie of the year last year. What does it say for your program that players like Rian can not only compete, uh, win NAIA championships, but also compete at the next level? Yeah, I mean, uh... We always tell our guys it's about the team first. You know, I know that's that those words are becoming a little bit cliche, but, uh, you know, I, I think the better programs are the ones who really believe in a team first mentality. So everything, you know, essentially comes back to the team. Having said that, we also feel it's part of you know myself and my staff's job. Um, to be able to help these guys achieve their own individual goals and wants. And so everybody has their own self-interest. And so seeing that uh, Rian has done a great job 
beyond us doesn't surprise me at all. He was absolutely a team first guy and um, a great part of our culture and someone who had success on the field. And, and so we, we are extremely excited and for the, our guys who have been offered professional contracts and, and had opportunities, um, you know, that, that makes us happy because, you know, these guys have been team first players and given a lot to our program. And so we want to see them, you know, have success as individuals along with all the team success, which of course I deem most important, but I also think it's incredibly important for our guys to have individual success um, while with us. Um, and it's especially once they leave us to be in a position to have even more success. So it, it's all, it's all full circle and it's all important to, to us as a, as a program and as a unit. Coach, if it, if it makes you feel better, we had the honor of interviewing uh, Rian for a Comets uh, broadcast last year, and he basically echoed you. He said, I'm not here for my personal goals. I'm here for the team, and I'm here uh, to, to make this team better and do whatever I can. So whatever you're teaching your student athletes uh, at, at CMU, they're taking with them whether they choose soccer or they choose to go into some other occupation. So uh, thank you and congrats for a great run. And we look forward to seeing you this season. Well, I appreciate it. I don't know if I can take uh, uh, any um, credit for, for Rion being Rion. He's just, uh, he was awesome when he got here. So, um, but uh, I appreciate that. Um, and uh, thanks very much for having us. Yeah, Coach, Coach Nichols, thank you so much for joining us today. Good luck this season. Uh, we look forward to seeing what your team does on and off the playing field. Thanks so much. All the best. You too.